leading us right into Halloween, which is tomorrow. <laughs> and there are a few things you should keep in mind to keep your trick-or-treaters safe. Yeah, several local groups are actually uh, making that just a bit easier for parents. Sunrise reporter Emily Hamilton joins us live from the newsroom to explain. Good morning, Emily. Well, good morning, Mike. Yeah, definitely an exciting time of year for families and kids out and about tomorrow night. But local law enforcement, as well as, of course, concerned parents are doing what they can this week to ensure the safety of our Coastal Bend kiddos. Before letting your little ones go door to door, there are a few things to keep in mind. The adult probation department is making their yearly rounds to the homes of registered sex offenders in Nueces County. If they have any decorations, um, any lighting, um, the porch light, since that has to be off. Corrections officers go door to door reminding those registered that until November 1st, these rules apply. Parents say they feel more at ease sending their kids out the door knowing programs like this are in place. Parents need to know, you know, where, where these people are living because we don't know. I mean, they're, they're, they could be anywhere and um, this is, I think this is very important to keep them safe, keep, keep parents aware of what's around them. Aside from the overall public safety of local children, there are also programs in place that allow kids with special accommodations to participate in trick-or-treating. The Teal Pumpkin Project promotes education of food allergies and aims for the inclusion of all trick-or-treaters throughout the spooky season. So you can come trick-or-treat here safely and you don't have to worry about any peanut allergies or anything like that because we have toys and all kinds of goodies. The steps to participate are easy and allow families to get creative together. You just place a painted teal pumpkin, the color of food allergy awareness, in front of your home to indicate you have non-food tricks and treats available. And since food allergies affect thousands of children, we wanted to give you parents at home an actual look at how you can find people participating in the Teal Pumpkin Project in your area. You're just going to go to foodallergy.org and you'll see this map that you see here on your screen and you just look at those teal dots. As you can see, we've got several people participating in the Flower Bluff area. It looks like Lamar Park as well. Again, that's just going to be foodallergy.org. Reporting live in the newsroom this morning, Emily Hamilton, Chris 6 News.